was your reaction then? What was the, the, the thought that went through your head when you first realised what was in your past? Uh, shock, disbelief, mm. really. Um, and it's, you know, how do you take it in, isn't it? You know, I mean, it's just something I wanted to find out about mm. my uh, my life. Then, really, um, what happened to me? You know, things like this. You know. Mm. And you first found out, didn't you? Because your your biological mother um, had been in care and had had to give you up. Yeah. And so when you got that information, there it was. Yes. Your father was Malayan. She'd kept all these uh, letters, photographs that he'd given her. Um, it was a love story, as mm. th that is in no doubt at all. But she'd kept all these letters until when I met her, was in my sort of late 40s, or you can say sort of 45, 46 years. She'd kept all these. Right? Even her children didn't know about them. Wow. She had them hidden in the house. She had three children. And uh, she had little ribbons tied on them and letters. <sighs> So, so did he? Did she ever tell um, your father, your birth father, your biological father, who was this sultan? Did she ever tell him about you? Uh, no, uh, because they lost touch. Because she was in care. Mm. <coughs> she was she was trainee nurse in Kashalton in Surrey, and um, she was with the local under the local authority in Carmarthenshire. She wanted to go and do nursing <coughs> or children's uh, nursing, I think, and then she met him. Because as soon as she became pregnant, they took her back in to South Wales, and of course she lost touch with him. Mm. She yeah. tried to write to him. <coughs> and it uh, was a different era then, wasn't oh. it? Having a baby yeah. out of wedlock in that situation, yeah. Yeah. things were very, very different. Yeah, Have was. you managed to meet any of your family? Because you've got brothers and sisters, haven't you? I have, yeah. I've been in, I was in touch with a few uh, on uh, social media and you know, emails, been in touch with a few of them for seven, eight years. Um, but as the as it became closer to <coughs> me going out there uh, to do some filming, they all sort of went a bit uh, a bit cold to me. But I did meet my younger uh, sister. Uh, she came to meet us uh, very late in the night, and uh, that was um, that was emotional. Was there was there a sense when you met her? And I'm sure you can you've communicated with some of your other. Um, brothers and sisters, could you see likenesses between yourself and, and her at all? Uh, well, I perhaps wouldn't see it myself, but uh, others said there was. You know, um, some of them used to say that I looked like my father from there upwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, others say I've got this jawline. You know, of my father. So as I say, I don't look at it. Uh, other people can make those decisions. <laughs> That's all I wanted. I wanted to see his last resting place, and and see the country and see where he, where he lived and yeah, where he was brought up. That's all, yeah, that's all yeah. I wanted to do. Amazing.